Okay guys, today is insemination day and Juan just gave his deposit so we're just waiting for them to get it prepped mm -hmm. and then I'll go in for my appointment in about an hour or so and poor Juan, he is being such a trooper right now. He, um, we haven't really talked about it but he has a disc in his back that is ruptured in two places and then a bulging disc as well and it, he is in a lot of pain today and couldn't even get out of bed so he's being such a trooper to still follow through with this today and to come and do everything he's supposed to do you guys can't see it right now but there's an ice pack on my hip and a lot of Tylenol on my system yes <laughs> thank you it's all for the baby it's all for the baby even before you see your kid, you start making sacrifices for your kid. Even though this isn't a sacrifice, this is an investment. It's true. But as we wait, we are going to do our two-week wait list to plan out what we're going to do to pass the time um, for the next two weeks. And at the request of my super smart aunt, we brought her pineapple blanket with us for the IUI. So it'll bring us good luck. And we're... Just gonna get this list put together. So today, I'm getting a haircut and I have my meeting. And then tomorrow, what do we have going on tomorrow? Tomorrow's Thursday. Thursday, oh I have class. So we'll just put school. School and a test, yeah. Guys, if you ever have good ideas for us to do for a two week wait, please leave them in the comments below. Hopefully this is our last two week wait. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. But then there's also like a two week wait until the next doctor's appointment and then the baby's first ultrasound. There's always gonna be a lot of two week waits. Yes. So if you do have any good ideas, drop them in the comments below for us so we can add them to our lists. The Natural History Museum, that was one. We have free access with our work. Do you wanna go on Friday? Mm. I kinda wanna do something fun on Friday. Oh, like <laughs> adventurous, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Okay, let's do the Natural History She's gonna have so much fun at the Natural History Museum, she's gonna regret that comment. <laughs> Doubtful. Mm. I don't like history. All right, so we got it all set. Today, I'm getting my hair cut, and then I have a meeting for primary. And then every Thursday, I have a class from 7.30 or 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. So that kind of overruns our Thursdays. And then Friday, we're gonna go to a drive-in movie, which I'm excited for. Those are like my it's favorite. always good. And then Saturday, we're gonna go to the temple and go to a barbecue. Monday or Sunday, we're gonna go visit Juan's family. They just got back from Guatemala, so we wanna go see them. And then on Monday, we're gonna go help my mom redo a little bit of her kitchen. Next Tuesday, we're gonna go to the Natural History Museum. And Wednesday, we kind of want a day to chill and relax. So we're gonna have our favorite dinner to be determined and then just binge Netflix and have a cuddle session. And then Thursday, I have school again. Friday, I wanna try to go to an escape room. We have a group that we like to go and we have a pretty good discount right now. Yeah. So it would make it really cheap. And then next Saturday, we're going to go to the farmer's market. And then Sunday, we'll visit my family. Monday, we're going to go to Nickel Kate again because that was probably our favorite. Yes. I'm going to whoop your butt and ski ball no. again. No, no. And then um, that Tuesday, we'll go to mini golf. And then the next day, we'll take our pregnancy test and our two-week wait will be over. Yeah, buddy. So that's our plan. I'm pretty excited. I'm so stoked. Me too. No, but did I mention he had 18 million on his total progressive sperm count today? Yes! <laughs> That's gonna be so good. Perfect. Thank you. And now that's in the video for the world to know. Sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> Perfect. In the doctor's office. <laughs> I was embarrassed because one of my coworkers and I were talking about it. I'm like, I didn't know you knew that much, okay? <laughs> She's not just a co-worker, she's like one of my best friends. That's true. That's true. Perfect. It's that stereotype that girls talk about. 
everything with their best friends is pretty true, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and we got the blanket this time. Yes. A little pineapple blanket. Mm-hmm. Good luck. Good luck blanket. <laughs> this is gonna be it. I'm just gonna go over your plan. Okay. Your medications real quick. Um, Letrozole, two pills daily. Yes. Five days. Avadril, day before yesterday. Yes. And Dr. Johnstone, correct? Yes. No, you got this. Easy peasy. It's like the third time I've never been nervous before. Let your knees fall all the way out. A little pressure. Is that a minky blanket? It is, yeah. It's pretty. Thank you. It has pineapples on it, so it's good luck. Oh, cool. I didn't know pineapples are good luck. But that's... It's like an old myth. It's like an old wife's tale that the meat on pineapples mm -hmm. will help with fertility. Go boys, go. Go boys. <laughs> Gonna be it. It's gonna be good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There's 18 million and only one of them need to work. Exactly. It's gonna work great. How are you feeling? A little crampy. Yeah. That's okay. I love you. Okay guys, so we have successfully waited almost a whole week since our IUI. And I feel like it's gone pretty well. Yeah. No? Yeah. Oh, that's no, just a little high pitch. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, we haven't really stuck to our two week wait plan as closely this time around, but we've still done things to keep us busy. I think that's probably where I'm struggling with it because we haven't stuck to our activities as well as time as we did last time but we are doing more things pretty recently we had some of our friends introduce us to the game settlers of Catan, mm -hmm. and it's pretty addicting <laughs> it is it's very addicting we played it like almost every day this week and it's a game you could play with two players so it's for just me and her to yeah. have some time together i mean it's not as easy with two players and it takes a lot longer and you can't trade as much but it still works. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun. Yeah. Even though she's kicked my butt. 
three four, four times, times in, in a row. row. I have one. That's how often we've played it. <laughs> <laughs> Today we went to breakfast at IKEA, which I had never done before, and it was really cheap and really good. Yeah. The Swedish pancakes are officially my favorite thing. <laughs> and then after that, we went and hung out with my mom for a little bit. So we did do that. We did. We did do that. That was on our two-week wait plan today. And then um, we all went and saw a movie tonight. We went and saw um, The Darkest Minds. Yep. It was actually pretty good. The ending kind of sucked, but the rest of the movie was pretty good. Yeah, it kind of sets it up for a sequel, but... I don't know if it'll have a sequel because it, it wasn't very big. Yeah, it didn't. Yeah, yeah. So we only have about another week, week and a half to wait to take a test. But this time just feels so different to me. And I don't know if it's because this is probably going to be our last um, cycle of treatment. We kind of got hit with um, a hard bill this week. We found out that our insurance, which has been paying for like all of our ultrasounds and our doctor's appointments and all of that, they have gone back and they are doing an audit and they are retracting payment on everything fertility related. Um, so we're probably going to have to pay back all of our ultrasound bills and all of that, which isn't cheap. It's about $340 in ultrasound, and I've had at least one ultrasound every month since February, Yeah, if not more. You know, and they're trying to work something out. Hopefully we won't have to pay the stuff we've already done, but I, work, I mean, best case scenario, we don't pay anything at all, and we get pregnant this round, and we won't have to worry about it for at least another year. Middle scenario, which I feel is gonna happen, is we won't have to pay what we've already had, had done, mm -hmm. but that any future fertility treatments we will have to pay out of pocket. And if we don't get pregnant this time, it's going to be really hard to continue on. You know, we don't yeah. have an extra $400 to be, and that's just for ultrasounds. Yeah, it that's, makes it about $900 a month for the ultrasound, the trigger shot, and the actual ins insemination. Yeah. Which is kind of a lot of money. It is. It's, I think, about $1,000 a month. Let's just round up. $1,000 a month towards yeah. having a child. And we really want a baby. And I am still very confident about this time. And I really, I really hope I'm right. But if... Well, we have a lot to discuss, for sure. Yeah. We did make a decision, though, that our lease is up at the end of October. And we are gonna move into my mom's basement to try to save up a little bit of money. Um, even without our insurance retracting payment and doing all of that fun stuff that we get to deal with now, <laughs> um, our doctor has spoken to us about moving on to IVF if this doesn't work. And at that point, we're talking Twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars that has to be paid up front before we can even have a consultation to talk about what we're going to do in treatments. We decided we're going to make this move to save up some money so we can do that if needed. And if not, then we can use that time to pay some of these back bills that we're going to get hit with and save up a little bit more and hopefully buy a house soon. Yeah. You know, with both of us in school and it's just something we felt we had to do because we feel a little like we're drowning but it's really a lot to take on but we're trying to stay positive and hope that this cycle will work well and everything's crossed but my legs that the cycle will work so we'll just have to wait another what is it like eight days yeah eight more days happy labor day by the way guys yes eight more days Eight more days until we find out whether or not our cycle worked. It's going to be a long eight days. We can do this. We can do this. We can definitely do this. Our nurse that did our IUI gave us a heads up that after last week, they weren't scheduling appointments until January. So we were able to schedule, for now it's a follow-up appointment for October 2nd, where we'll talk about maybe moving on to IVF. And if this cycle works, it will turn into our first ultrasound. Yeah. 
so can I see how our little baby's doing yes so we're just crossing our fingers that it works and we'll find out in about eight weeks yeah eight days not eight weeks. days not eight weeks <laughs> eight days so thanks again everyone for following us on our journey and for all of your thoughts and prayers and messages and everything you guys do for us it's amazing we're very grateful to have such amazing people in our lives and no matter what happens we won't stop making videos we'll keep you guys updated on our journey yes and we know everything is in god's hands and he he knows what's gonna happen he yes. knows what's good for us. well thanks for watching guys we'll see you next week bye guys bye